Okay, so I found an area that's, that seems good for trapping. I put a bandana on just uh, to keep some heat in. The sun's going down and it keeps getting a little bit cooler by the, by the 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a trap here. Put a snare here. I'm also going to set up a snare over here. And I'm also going to set up a snare up in here. That's the plan. I'm going to keep it close together to increase the chances. Okay, all the traps are set up. That's the weight that I got. And it goes up in the string, up the tree, and then back down to the trigger stick. That's the trigger stick. It just has to walk by and hit the stick. Okay, it's about that time. So I only have one can of tuna left, so I'm going to save that for breakfast. And uh, I'm really tired. I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning, guys. night sleep. That was great. It was like sleeping home. I'm home. <laughs> I got two homes. Alright, so uh, the fire's still going. I guess because the radiation of the heat, you know, kept uh, all the ambers hot. Oh, I want to check my traps. I want to check my traps. I definitely want to do that. Okay, here's something I can do. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make the fire bigger and uh, get more coals while I heat up the rock. And at the same time, I'm going to go check the traps. So that when I come back, I can just add some snow or some ice. Actually, it's, it's cold enough and the sun's not out yet. So I'll grab some ice. I'm sure there's some ice around here. I'd rather grab ice than snow because it's for sure that water pathogens have frozen in ice as opposed to snow. It's all about preparation in advance. I'm sure I didn't need all that, but it's okay. Get that fire started with some twigs and sticks. Got some more underneath here. Yes, it's that simple, guys. That feels good. this one. It should heat up quickly. This pan here. Just like that. We're coming up to location number one. Alright, I see the toggle hanging there. But, uh, no game. Alright, so that one got triggered. Let's check the other one. Alright, so it's still, the weight's still hanging there. So, that means, yeah. 
hasn't been triggered yet. Four hours, true. Okay. So the snare's still there, it's still set. Alright, so I don't like to leave traps up around if I'm not around. You know, I don't make killing traps anyways. So I usually make snare traps. So that way, uh, people can't get hurt by them. It's, it's nothing that a person can't get out of. So, it's it just solves a lot of politics. Just taking the common courtesy to not hurt your neighbor, you know, so to speak. So I'm going to trigger this here. And that's exactly how it works. I still can't even... I don't know if you can see that. See that? I still can't even pull my finger out. And that's what would have happened. Okay. So, I found some ice here. And, uh, it's, it's just a matter of breaking it. And what I want to do is try to get big pieces. So that's the ice that I got, and that should be enough. I'm going to uh, heat it on the fire. Melt this down. The reason why I'm taking the ice and not the water is because where I'm taking it from is a really small puddle in the middle of nowhere, which means that that this rain, that this area doesn't get run off. It's just um, saturated with anything that's here. I'm using ice because most of the water pathogens are not resistant to freezing. So if there are any water pathogens in the ice that means they're frozen which means they're most likely dead now if I grab underneath the water of course there's a little bit of water on the ice but if I actually grab directly from the water then I open the field to more types of pathogens that I would have to get rid of if there are any which I'm sure there are okay so it's time to get this ice melted and then uh, the entrance here gonna melt and boil the ice without heating up the handle and then after that it's about filtering it and what I've been using is the screen of my mosquito head net and I fold it up four times at least so that it can thicken the layers of the screen so that it, it filters even better and, uh, and I filter that into the can that I have so we're gonna let that do it boiling for about five minutes so it's good to go. If I wait any longer I'm gonna lose my water to evaporation. Okay so I'm gonna grab the pan. On my other hand I've got the can with the mosquito head net. And I folded it over four times. And that's to filter any debris out. So I'm gonna do this quickly so it all falls in one place. Here we go. Ooh, that's hot. We've got some Korean ginseng tea. Let's see what's happening. This is my spoon that I made. It smells good. So I got me some some ginseng tea this morning and I made some tuna. Start the day off like that. I didn't catch anything in my traps. One just dis one dismantled. A few of them were still set. And one was triggered. So I was in the right area. 
I just needed to uh, set a few more. That's what today would be. But I've come to the end of my journey. So this is my final meal of the day. I'm going to pack up and... Which I don't have much. I'm going to pack up. I'm going to bring the pack sack back with me. And... That's it. So it's been fun. I love doing this stuff. I do it all the time. And I hope to do it for the rest of my life. Maybe you guys make it a part of yours. There's just something to this. Just universal reasons, you know? Like it just answers a lot of universal questions being out here. That you can know for the truth. Past any deceit or lies. You know, something that you can't read in the book. It's something you have to learn for yourself out here. And you don't have to take anybody's word for it. Because nature gives you the answer. I love it out here. You know, it's just quieting your mind out here. And just enjoying existing to be. So that's it for this episode. I'm going to head back. I got my pack sack. I'm all good to go. I came to my, my salvation, which was my camp after a two-day trek in the wilderness. It was really fun. It was great to see. The first night, I was low on the hillside. The second night, I went up to the top of the mountain, slept in the rocks. And then the third night, I made it to salvation at the camp, which is fourth. And day five is this morning, and I'm heading off. So it's been great. I hope you learned something, and we'll do this again another time. I gotta tell them, they may not wanna know. Cause ignorance is bliss, but knowledge is power. You gotta decide. I never thought I would live to see the day. Facial recognition, biometric fingerprint, and retina scans. Get your hands, driver's license, you ain't listening though. Get your barcode if you are a product of. How about an access card if you ain't had enough? It's real life. Axe passports are chipped, it's RFID chips, now they chip in the kids. It's Google Earth a bitch, Google Nexus, iPhone compete. What the fuck is next? Google go make food to eat. I tell you, use your brains, but you probably got an app for that. Fabricated reality only seeks to distract. No more game shit as real as it can ever be. You can't fight this war on your Nintendo Wii. So fuck your PlayStation daily, casualties are taken It's in your fruits and veggies, fish and milk and eggs and bacon Replacing, taking hormones, they call them GMOs It promotes a sterile people and homosexuals That's population control, one-on-one pharmaceuticals They ain't done, it's in your tap water, son Do regulations, the bank, bought a bar to stanks Bronze pavilion, fluoride and lithium, nothing dilates So think your bottle of water, safe to drink, check fluorosis to scrap your distilled water and water through reverse osmosis A diabetic generation soon to come Walking around with chocolate bars might die if they don't have one Cause sugar's even in the milk, why you even drinking that? This insane is aspartame, they even got us taking that It's death to the people by vaccination, H1N2 Birds, swine and Spanish flu, H1N1 ain't no common flu They said a quarantines ain't gonna infect me I stay alert to the shit, they ain't gonna get me I will protect me, me and my family Whose family survives and behooves It's come to that you see Every day they spray the skies Follow the chemtrails That's NATO Air Force, bitch Those are not contrails Aluminum and barium and Particles of plastic Float down from the sky We're fishing the tank, you fucking bastards It's geoengineering and heart Control the weather Global warming's not now Follow it, it was never giant Tulsa coils round the globe To help affect the weather Electromagnetic frequency span the skies ain't any better We gotta fight this together They divide and conquer So organize your groups We can't take this any longer As we speak they prep in concentration camps FEMA for the states The next state of emergency See life they think they let you Take your own with microwaves And through the food you eat And through the water you drink And through the air you breathe Deregulation permits it Businesses don't have to sell
sell it. It's people making people sick for profit motive. Get it? You abdicated roses, responsible citizens. The playing consumer with no care for consequence. This is happening. Human trafficking, social services, orphanage homes, divided families, and displacement of children are gone. Selective breeding. They use mismatches and homos to do it. Couldn't do it with no donations. You give sperm or egg, you're fucking stupid. Here are our families without you. For sterile and infertile couples for IVF or ICSI process too. We still have fighting to do. This needs to be the last war. It's all or nothing. My life is at stake and so is yours. And so is the kids we have up for grabs by the world order on population and consumption. This war ain't over. Digital currency's worthless. Backed by public trust, fear, dreams, greed, and handicapped. And idea of a strict penal code. Net bondage by law. Pay the fees because not to be is free. Be outlaw. Work to pay to stay to work to stay away from prison. Work to pay to stay to slave yourself inside the system the only ways to save your purchase power to find relief the other ways to capitalize ahead of time to find relief mass human labor's finished due to technology entertainment distraction them down fame instead of money they hardly organize the public they seek only labor the failure to comply off to prison see you later